I was messaging you, I think, about um, after we had Ben, Ben Van Kirkwick on the pod, and um, Uncharted X, the guy who was the pyramid. Yes, yes, and, he's um, great. He's he's great, and uh, everybody was like, dude, it's so awesome. Uh, Shane Gillis's dad showed up to the pod, and I was like, what? And I guess they think that he, that he looks like Shane, <laughs> an older version of Shane. But what I loved about the pyramid conspiracy is that the stakes are so low. Right? There's yeah. no pedophilia. Nothing. Nobody's dying. Nothing. It's like, did it happen? Did it not happen? It's just, how old is this civilization? That's it. Is That's it 4,000? Is it 10,000? But you know that even with that, because Graham Hancock has oh, a whole yeah. series. They call you racist. He's calling like him that. racist. I'm not saying that black people didn't still do it. He, it's, it's just what, older listen, black people. 100% was black people. Yeah, yeah. It was 100% <laughs> yeah, people yeah, in yeah. Africa. The, the pyramids yeah, yeah. were 100% built by people who lived in Africa. Yes. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All Graham Hancock is saying mm. is that it's very likely that the entire world experienced a cataclysmic disaster yes. around 11,800, yeah. 12,000 years ago, yeah. somewhere in that range, yeah. and it knocked us back into the Stone Age. Dude, but yeah. those people who were around before that yeah. were probably more sophisticated than we are. We yeah. just have a hard time imagining that because yeah. yeah. we don't have any evidence of it. And we just don't think that the uh, execution matches up with the technology. If we well, found some tech yeah. that would make sense, I think that we could go, okay, maybe this did happen 4,000 years ago, or whatever it is. But so far, the idea of like a chisel and a stone carving all these bro blocks and then people just dragging them in the sand, I think it seems a little bit There's some real problems with that. Yeah. There's some real problems with the actual physical limitations yeah. of the size of these obelisks yeah. where they're cutting them in the mountains and they have to move them <laughs> hundreds of miles. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. How are you getting them out of the mountains? Like, yeah. what, are you, what are you doing? Yeah. This is like 2,000 tons. Like, yeah. What the fuck are you saying? Yeah. You said it, uh, I think I was listening to the pod with you guys and you were like, if I was if I was Elon Musk, I'd just build one. And I get that to a certain extent. I don't know if you could. I really I don't know could. if you could. I think we could. Do you know if you cut and place 10 stones a, a day, yeah. it would take you 664 years to make the pyramid? That might be wrong. It's But there's 2,300,000 stones mm. in the Great Pyramid. Mm. You need to go, man. I know I do. You need to go. It was it was the craziest thing that I've seen that humans have made. Like awe inspiring. And talking uh, to just Ben, and talking to Randall Carlson, and talking to Graham Hancock. Yeah. I I more and more think that we just have to use our imagination. Yeah. Because we're thinking of technology only as technology that we've implemented yeah. like these microphones and yeah. cell phones and shit but it's possible there was a completely different branch of technology yeah. and they had figured out something that allowed them to manipulate enormous stones yeah we just haven't figured it out yet. i mean just think about it like this like imagine there was this cataclysm right within a hundred years like this idea of wi-fi is non-existent to people not existent. it's a story that you a tell story. So wait, what do you mean? The Wizard. internet? Yeah, exactly. It's just absurd. It doesn't exist. You can't hold on to it. Right. So right now we're looking for all these tools that you can hold on to and can build things with. And that makes sense to us. But we can't conceive of this like technology that existed just in the air. Yeah. How would you describe Wi-Fi to some dude that you met in an Amazonian tribe? You wouldn't. You yeah. couldn't. You couldn't. It's it's the same way that like, do you fuck with the chat GPT thing at all? Yeah. Okay. I I I don't even know what to ask it because I'm not familiar enough with what AI can do. So you I would still ask it like Google questions because that's what I'm fluent in. Yeah. D I does that make sense? Could, I think you can talk to chat GPT-4 as if it's a god. So so I would just... <laughs> oh, I got some questions. Uh, right? Am I close? Uh, uh, sure. Maybe I mean, chat GPT-5? Can we chat it, GPT now? If you tell it it's a god, it'll definitely start talking to Wait, you. Wait, can like we talk is. to it now? Can yeah. yeah, you can talk to it. Hey, you know who invented Wi-Fi? Who? Hedy Lamar. Who's that? The actress. That's mm -hmm. true, right? It's not Bluetooth, right? It was Wi-Fi she invented. Is that correct? Hedy Lamar, who was this gorgeous actress, uh, was a brilliant woman who like had a, a, quite a few inventions. Technically both. Yeah. Stunning. Although she died in 2000, Lamar was inducted into the nat National National Inventors Hall of Fame for the development of her frequency hopping technology in 2014. She did it way before 2014, though. 
Uh, such achievement has led Lamar to be dubbed the mother of Wi-Fi and other wireless communications like GPS and Bluetooth. Wait, and why did she invent this? For playback or something like that? No, no I think she was a scientist before she was an actress. <laughs> she was just hot. And no one gave a fuck. I mean, she is She was stunning. so hot, yeah. She was so hot. Is that a function of our age? Do you know Leah Lamar, the stand-up? Yeah, yeah. That's, That's her, her relative? relative, yes. Wow. Because I had this bit about Hedy Lamar in my and, act. And Leah had to talk to you and about Leah it. And Leah came up to me and she goes, I That's think it's her. That's my grandma. I think it's either a grandmother or her great aunt or mm. something like that. It's one of those. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's why, mm. you know, and Leah's beautiful too. Mm -hmm. It's like, but Hedy Lamar was a smoke show. Yeah. Back when, you know, they were dragging women around by their hair back then. Like really? This dark ages. Yeah, that's like slapping women in the movies was standard. Yeah, there was a yeah, early Bond films. Oh God, were wild, man. You ever see Steve McQueen smack the shit out of who was it? Ali, uh, who was the woman he did that movie with? Ali Sheedy is that who it was? I forget who it was, the actress. But there's a scene, scene where he's her beating her fucking ass. It's horrible. Yeah, yeah. Because he's actually hitting her, yeah. and you could tell like she probably didn't know it was coming, and yeah. she's got to be in the moment. Yeah. Allie, Allie McGraw. McGraw, yeah, it's horrible to watch, dude. Like they get, but this was like how men behaved. Oh, like this she, is the woman. This is the actress. Did you watch the uh, the what is that uh, show about the making of the Godfather? No, I didn't see that. What was the name? Talking about, but I didn't. It was brilliant. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Why is the perspective all fucked I'm up? Sure. The perspective. Everyone's all narrow. <laughs> Everyone has narrow heads and shit. It's too bad. She was a, a beautiful woman. Give me some volume. Oh, you don't have headphones on. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. It's okay. It. You don't have to give me. It's actually playing yeah. smack my bitch up. This is it. horrible, man. Right. Like, he's actually hitting her. Watch this. He's actually hitting her. And he's threatening to punch her in the face. Yeah. And she starts crying. And he hits her again. How common? Bro, this was normal back yeah, I'm, then. Yeah, I'm wondering, like, how common when you were a kid was it, was it to normal. see, like, a, a man hit a woman? I think it was normal. I think for all of human history, it was normal until people started watching it. And, and then going, what, what the fuck? Yeah, Until media came along, yeah. and you could see, I think people hit their kids. I think people hit their wives. Yeah. I think people hit each other. What was the transition though? Me media. So because people got to see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you just got to see it. You didn't see what the kid did to get hit. Right. You just see the kid getting hit. You're you like, how could hit. you? Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to hit kids. Yeah. Like you don't have to. Hit you kids would never to discipline. Teach kids. Never. You don't have to do that. Mm. They they want. You love them. Okay, question. They make mistakes. You got to communicate with them.